This is Jim Schnabel. I'm doing the ninth lecture in a series from Pathology uh, by uh, Robbins and Cotrain, ninth edition. Uh, today we'll be discussing environmental and nutritional diseases. And this is an interesting graph uh, illustrating the uh, 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 incidence of, uh, of uh, environmental and nutritional disease over the past century, 1900 uh, up through uh, 2015 or thereabouts showing the increases of, uh, of uh, well, actually from 1990 to uh, 2015. So this is a track of diseases, and you can see that there are relative increases of uh, cardiovascular disease and circulatory disease in the world. Uh, cancer uh, has a slight increase. Uh, there is a decrease of uh, infectious uh, disease uh, manifestations of diarrhea and uh, lower respiratory infections and a, a slight increase in leveling off of HIV AIDS and then there are war and disease uh, war and disaster and other uh, minor causes that uh, have been fairly stable over the past uh, several years The greatest uh, worldwide factor in years lost is uh, nutritional environmental disease. Undernutrition and infectious disease occurs in underdeveloped countries. There is uh, heart and cardiovascular disease in developed countries. Pneumonia, diarrhea, and malaria are uh, common etiologies uh, in children below year five. And there are uh, obviously emerging disease and newly evolved forms. New forms that infect humans and smoldering diseases, which uh, have breakout uh, uh, increases of incidence. Toxicology is a study of poisons. Poisons is a definition linked to dosage. There are a variety of metabolic fates, accumulations, and excretions, which can either be toxic in native form or as a metabolite. Cychrome P450 oxidation uh, often performs preliminary metabolic steps to convert hydrophobic molecules into polarizable substrates. These systems can be induced by prior exposure or genetic propensity to the transforming agent. Air pollution has six entities that are monitored by the Environmental Protection Agency. They include carbon monoxide, ozone, nitropollutants, sulfur dioxide, lead, and particulates. The lung reacts in a generalized and stereotypical fashion uh, with the endpoints of decreased function, increased airway reactivity, and increased infections. Ozone is a sea level pulmonary irritant. It's a source of free radicals. It is, however, protective in the atmosphere. Particulates are an inducer of inflammation through macrophage activation. Carbon monoxide is a, pro is a problem with low-level acute toxicity or chronic exposure on lung function, and it preferentially and tightly binds to hemoglobin. Metal toxicity, lead binds to amino acid sulfhydryl groups. It interferes with calcium metabolism. There's low-level lead poisoning, uh, manifests as subtle intellectual deficit and bone deposition, which we call lead lines. Acute poisoning affects the brain, blood anemia, and kidneys. Mercury binds to sulfhydryl groups also. There are three forms. There's organic methylmercury, predominantly in swordfish and tuna. Elemental mercury, vapors, and dental work aerosolization. And inorganic mercury in the form of mercuric chloride. The brain is extremely sensitive to mercury, particularly in developmental stages. Arsenic is a war contaminant in underdeveloped countries. There is, this is an industrial product which affects oxidative phosphorylation and ion exchange channels. It affects the brain, skin, and is a rare neoplastic effect. Occupational health toxicities include organic solvents, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, organochlorides, halocarbons, dioxins, vinyl chloride, and mineral dust. And this is a, a chart with uh, the effects on, of uh, the cardiovascular system, toxicant, uh, toxicants or carbon monoxide, lead solvents, cobalt cadmium, and you can get uh, neuro, uh, uh, respir respiratory system, nasal uh, cancer, lung cancer, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, 
and these are the toxicants that uh, 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 can cause these particular entities. Nervous system uh, has peripheral neuropathies, ataxic gait, and these are the agents that do that, cataracts and ultraviolet radiation. Urinary system, renal toxicity, mercury, lead, glycol ethers, solvents, bladder cancer, uh, naphthalamine, uh, 4 amino biphenyl, benzidine, rubber products, male infertility, lead, phthalate, plasticizers, cadmium, female infertility, lead, mercury, hematopoietic uh, system problems with leukemia and benzene, skin uh, with uh, polyclonal biphenyls, for folliculitis, acneiform, dermatosis, dermatosis uh, and angiosarcoma with vinyl chloride. These are all excellent board questions, by the way. Tobacco is the leading exogenous form cause of human cancers. China and India have respectively 30% and 10% of world smokers. The prevalence is highest in developing countries. This is a dose-dependent disease measured in pack years, years of smoking X packs per day. So 30 pack years can be uh, three uh, packs a day times 10 years or, uh, or uh, 10 uh, packs a day for three years. Nicotine is a highly addictive agent in smoke. It stimulates catecholamines from sympathetic neurons. Smoke has in inflammation, subsequent injury with scarring. The P450 gene product metabolizes benzoate pyrene to an intermediate, which forms an adduct with guanine base, and this leads to mutations. So this is a definite chemical uh, reaction that can occur with the ingredient in cigarette smoke. Also associated with cancer is the oropharynx, esophagus, pancreas, bladder, kidney, and atherosclerosis through platelet activation and hypoxia. Alcohol is consumed by 50% of, of adults in the Western world. The effects are ameliorated by metabolic induction of transforming enzymes. It is consumed as carbohydrate. It is, in fact, a pure carbohydrate with direct transport in the stomach and small intestine is oxidized to acetaldehyde in a constant time-dependent stage. There is some genetic predisposition to alcohol tolerance, less tolerance in the Asian population. Uh, there's an unknown mechanism for liver damage, whether it's a direct toxin or reacts to intermediates. Among organ effects, liver has fat deposition, and there is ultimate cellular transformation to fibrosis and then cirrhosis, which is fibrosis with nodular regeneration, and you can determine this uh, using uh, reticulum uh, fiber uh, histochemical staining. The gastrointestinal tract, uh, the effects of alcohol in it, gives you varices in the esophagogastric junction from cirrhotic backflow from the portal vein and ulcers. The heart has dilated cardiomyopathy with congestive heart failure and hypertension. Pancreas gives you pancreatitis. For the fetus, you have uh, fetal alcohol syndrome, which is linked to frequent and binge drinking, uh, not the occasional sip, uh, but a uh, more of a dose-dependent uh, high uh, intake of alcohol. Neoplasms include esophageal carcinoma, uh, hepatocellular carcinoma, and uh, carcinomas of the oral cavity. These are often co-joiners with other etiologies. Nutrition, this is a co pure carbohydrate load, there's a caloric burden, and it's concomitant B1 thiamine uh, deficiency with neuropathy. Therapeutic drug interactions, uh, menopausal hormone replacement therapy has an uncertain benefit vis-a-vis -vis breast cancer risk. There is a prevention of osteoporosis and protection against arteriosclerosis and a defined risk of thromboembolism. Oral anticoagulants have a defined risk of thromboembolism and hepatic adenomas. This is a rare benign tumor. Uh, there is an uncertain or no effect on neoplastic risk. The uh, correct answer is no effect. Antibiotic steroids uh, creates a feedback mechanism, inhibition of luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone. This creates metabolic transformation to estrogens with acne, gynecomastia, which is male breast enlargement, testicular atrophy, and myocardial infarction. 
Acetaminophen is the most commonly used analgesic. It is metabolized in the liver. And if there is a, an overdose, you overwhelm the metabolic pathway and you get a particular pattern of uh, liver necrosis and failure that can be recognized readily under the microscopic examination. Uh, drugs of abuse, uh, the, this is a list of them here. They're hallucinogens, which uh, act uh, on serotonin uh, 5 uh, HT receptors as an agonist. These include lysergic acid diethylamide, mescaline, psilocybin. Uh, cannabinoids uh, react on the cannabinoid uh, receptors as an agonist. This is marijuana and hashish. Uh, phencyclidine like drugs include M NMDA uh, glutamate, glutamate receptors. This includes ketamine and uh, phencyclidine or PCT angel dust. Psychomotor stimulants include dopamine uh, transporter antagonists and a toxicity to serotonin uh, receptors. This includes cocaine, amphetamines, include MDNA, ecstasy. Set of hypnotics, uh, GABA receptor agonists. These are barbiturates, ethanol, uh, uh, methacrylone or quaaludes, uh, and uh, then finally there are opioid narcotics. These react on the M opioid receptors and agonists. These include heroin, Dilaudid, uh, dioxy, oxycodone, methadone, and the paradine or Demerol. Cocaine has various formulations. This is an intense vasoconstrictor. It blocks dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine reuptake to sustain neurotransmission uh, and accelerant for myocardial ischemia. It also has ion channel-induced arrhythmias in the heart, and these are long-term long risk factors. Opioids have different formulations. These have profound central nervous system effects, including euphoria sedation, hallucinations, and somnolence, the risk of sudden death through respiratory depression, pulmonary edema, and cardiac arrest, pulmonary injury, infections, including endocarditis, heart valve uh, uh, infections, lungs, skin injection, lesions, and kidney disease, specific uh, uh, high-grade types. MDNA, ecstasy, you release serotonin and you receive uh, uh, euphoria and hallucinations. Marijuana is a mild psychedelic with some beneficial effects for pain amelioration and anti-nausea. Secondary chemotherapy, pulmonary injury, and psychomotor effects are risk. And historically, drug abuse agents go into and out of fashion. So a drug that, is, that has a lot of uh, airplay and popularity a decade ago may go out of fashion, reappear 20 or so years later. This is the trend line. Physical agents are of interest for forensic pathology. There's mechanical trauma. There's thermal injury with three burn degrees. First degree is localized to the epidermis. Second degree uh, goes through the skin for epidermis and dermis. And third degree extends beyond the skin. The clinical approach is contingent on specific location and extent of burns. There are uh, different grades of injury depending on where the burn is and how deep it is. And these put a patient into a, a clinical category. There's systemic risk, obviously, fluid imbalance, shock, sepsis, disseminated intravascular coagulopathy, organ failure, lung compromise, and a post-injury course. Hyperthermia is of three types. Heat cramps is a lactic acid buildup with an oxygen debt. Heat exhaustion is where the cardiovascular system cannot compensate for dehydration. The heat regulatory mechanism is preserved. These people need lots of water quickly. And heat stroke is a medical emergency. The heat regulatory mechanism fails. The core body temperature approaches ambient level, and organ failure is uh, guaranteed unless uh, immediately arrested. Hypothermia has direct effects with water crystallization and indirect effects with sustained vasoconstriction and increased vascular permeability, which we call trench foot uh, from World War I era uh, uh, conditions. Electrical injury, there are two injury, injury types. There are burns and there's ventricular fibrillation. An alternating current produces involuntary muscle spasm which prolongs the contact with the offending uh, uh, electrical lead. 
ionizing radiation, there is impinging energy, manifested as radio waves or particles. These include alpha and beta particles and X-rays and gamma rays. Alpha particles are helium nucleus with uh, two protons and two neutrons. They create localized damage without penetration. The beta particles are high energy electrons. They have variable penetration and damage to the underlying tissue. And X-rays and gamma rays have broad penetration and damage. The radiation dosage units, the Curie, is measured in disintegrations per second, and this describes uh, what is emitted from a source. Gray is energy absorbed by target tissue per unit mass. Units are ERDs per gram of tissue, and this is a medical unit and one that we use in our uh, practice. Sievert is the amount of radiation absorbed measured as gray corrected to the biological effectiveness of the radiation, which depends on radiation type, the extent of tissue involved, and duration. The effectiveness of radiation is contingent on host factors, rate of delivery, target cell proliferation rate, oxygenation, and vessel integrity. Acute radiation damage is invoked where cells rapidly proliferate. This includes bone marrow, hair, gastrointestinal tract. These recoveries are delayed. The later effects are reparative fibrosis, which includes neoplasia, particularly after double-stranded breaks. Neoplasia uh, from radiation includes thyroid. These are generally low-grade uh, lesions, generally curable. Hematopoietic effects, uh, leukemias, lymphomas breast disease, and lung, and the effects are dose-dependent and cumulative. And I'll do be it for the talk. Thank you very much.